Hey guys, it's Kendall. Welcome back to my channel. This is K Biff Crochet, where we basically talk about all things crochet. If you don't know, I have a crochet business. Oh, you see. One um, on Etsy that I've had since about 20, I want to say 2014, maybe even 2013, when my son was born. And I have made like thousands of dollars from Etsy, but over time, my business has grown exponentially and also I have changed the way that I package my orders. So today I just wanted to show you how I do that and give you guys some details about how you could possibly do that because I've learned that the way you package your orders really helps you to brand better and connect with your customers more and keep them coming back. So I, as I mentioned, um, I always try or more recently, I've always tried to make sure that branding is like really important and that it really stands out. So that includes things like your business cards, things that have your brand on it. So for me, since I crochet, the crochet items that I make, I should be trying to make sure that every item has my logo on it, some type of tag, to let this customer know that, that I made it. So I take the item that I've made, I take it off the mannequin or I prepare it, I get it ready and I lay out a piece of paper. And once I lay out the paper, um, I lay out the item on it and I place usually two business cards on the paper and I fold up that uh, paper with the item and the business cards inside. Now after I do that, I like to make it pretty. I generally take a piece of yarn, sometimes the exact same color of the item that I've made, and I tie it in a pretty little bow so that usually when, it, it's usually women, usually that when she receives it, you know, it's just like, it's not something that's just thrown in a bag. It looks like I actually care about it. So I feel like that a lot of times allows my customers to believe that they are purchasing from a reputable shop, somebody who, um, you know, cares about their item and, and it gives it a small little touch that they don't necessarily get from a large corporation like Forever 21 or H&M where you buy your items and they just throw it in the bag with the receipt, you know? So once I've folded the item up and I've tied it in the paper with my two business cards and uh, my nice little bow, I take out a card and usually, before I was just using like stock paper, hard paper, but more recently I've been using actual thank you cards. And again, going back to branding, I will use a stamp that I also got from a small business on Etsy and it has my logo on it. So I will stamp my logo inside of this um, card and I always make sure that I try to use the customer's name because again, that is something that you're not going to get from a large corporation. So I use the customer's name and I say, Dear Sally or Hi Sally, thank you so much for supporting my small business. I really appreciate it. I typically give notes how you should take care of the item. Um, I make sure that they know that I'm talking specifically to them versus, and what I'm about to say, if you do that, that's still fine, but versus like, him or pre-printed notes that are standard for every single customer. Now, I'm not saying that if I grow to the point where I might have to do a, a pre-printed um, card, then maybe that'll be something for the future. But as of right now, I make sure that I use the customer's name, I sign my name, and I try to be just as, you know, as personable as possible so that they know that it, this is like a me and you type thing. Like, I appreciate, I, the person who made these items appreciate you for finding my shop, shopping with me, and hopefully like continuing to be a customer of mine, and I hope that you come back. Then once I finish the card, I put it in a nice little white envelope, and I write the customer's name on the front, but I also make sure that, you know, just something else, I put a cute little thank you sticker on the back of that um, envelope. So then once that happens, I put both, so the piece of paper with the item inside and the thank you note inside of a pretty little packaging um, that I got off Amazon. And I will be looking for like a small business where who does like packaging materials. But as of right now, I just found like this cute little packaging on Amazon that I use that'll help me like stand out even more. I put the items in, I write my information on the back, all handwritten, and then I take it to the post office 
they handle it and um it's off to the customer to hopefully fit be worn be posted on my instagram and then that is the process so thank you guys so much for watching this video i hope that this helps you that you can um use some tips that i've given to grow your business um and utilize them to make customers happy because small businesses are what help the world go around yeah subscribe to my youtube channel at kvip crochet follow me on instagram and i will see you guys in the next video